Hey guys, Brian and Aaron here from Five to Go. We are here with another Class A motorhome tour. Yes. And again, this is another one that's not gonna work for us, but we really wanna show this off. This has a really cool feature that we haven't seen yeah. in any other of the floor plans we've been looking at online. Yeah, and if this had the cab over bunk, cab bunk, bunk, cab thing, if it had the bed <laughs> over the seats, uh, this would be a strong contender. This would be a very strong contender. Come in and so, see why, come on. Well, we haven't told them what it is. Oh. Okay, tell them what it is. Okay, you tell them. <laughs> this is a this is a Tiffin Allegro. What was the number on it? Uh, it is a 36 LA. 36 LA. All right, let's go inside. Hey guys, Brian here real quick, just jumping in while editing. Wanted to point something out and talk about something we've been getting some comments on. Uh, we are not really including the location or the price of these rigs as we look at them. Because if you've ever looked at RVs, you'll know that where we're looking and the prices we're seeing aren't necessarily going to apply to where you're looking and the prices you'll see. So this RV we're looking at right now is priced right around 95,000, I think, but that's here in Denver. Out in California, it could be 120,000. Down in Florida, it could be 75 or 80,000. So when we're looking at these, it's really just for floor plans. If you're interested in this model, just head over to RV Trader or whatever your local dealerships are, and you'll see prices for this floor plan in your area. All right, now back to the tour. Okay, so first, no, no bed, bed over the cab. So this immediately removes it from the list. That is non-negotiable. Yeah, we have to have that. However, I haven't shown off this living room yet. I yet. know. So the living room in here, first, there is a living room, which is really, really awesome. And when we had the kids in here earlier, they immediately went to this area because I think that they missed being able to sit with us and kind of watch TV. This gives them that option. Okay, but before we get there, we've got a dinette behind you <clears throat> and it does have the cushions in the back, which is nice because you can kind of like lounge in it sideways. Right. It's kind of nice. And then I'm going to I'm gonna do a little tease here. Oh, you're going to oh, So let's look at the kitchen over here. Nice so, counter space. Good counter space. Uh, not a convection, but plenty of room to put one in. This is a 2015. Did we say that? Yeah. This is an older model, which was probably why there isn't that loft bed Could overhead. Be. Could be. Um, and why there isn't a convection oven, because yep. those are kind of more standard now. Yeah, but it does have solid covers <clears throat> all the way across. Yeah. So a good amount of counter space. So I'm going to give this one a B plus. Last one was an A minus because it had the convection. So we'll right. do a B plus on this one. Uh, deep nice. Cabinets, super huge, deep cabinets. Huge cabinets up here. There's cabinets all the way around the top. Mm -hmm. So if there was a bed in here, it would probably drop down and the cabinets would be accessible right. up there. Uh, so above the microwave, more cabinets. More deep cabinets. Over here, a little tiny spice, know, cabinet. spice cabinet. Mm -hmm. And then got a bunch of drawers and all that stuff down here. So. Definitely space to put like a trash oh, yeah. can. Plenty of room Absolutely. for the Instant Pot. Yep. yep. And again, we're looking at this for full-time use. So without this, we can't do that. So, but uh, look at this, guys. My God, this is, this is an amazing, oh, Ben's Playpad's making an appearance again. Another appearance, yeah. Look at this, this is crazy. So this thing, this one actually kind of collapses in on itself and this slides in all the way over there for traveling. And then that is a coffee table. This actually comes with this coffee table and it has straps on the bottom to secure it. And then a standalone recliner. Yeah. The then, TV is in the perfect, perfect location right with an electric fireplace. fireplace. So this is not a residential fridge, which we are totally fine with. Yes. The fridge and the rig that we full-timed in for about two years, like basically that. like this. Mm -hmm. I think the freezer, freezer was a little smaller, but this is about like a 12 or 14 cubic foot mm -hmm. fridge dual fuel which is nice this is nice to have this thing because brian loves a recliner i do with arms i do you have all these windows yeah this is really nice yeah this is tiffin makes some pretty good stuff true story so it's got cabinets like this all the way to the front mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then there's a half bath yep. in here it's a little dark yeah so there's a sink there and then the counter comes kind of a little angle toilet is in a good orientation mm -hmm. so you'd actually have room for your legs and knees and whatnot is it up on a thing cabinet. or is it on it the is. Floor? It, it is, is up a little yeah. bit. yeah but it's not a like pedestal oh okay so it's kind of normal height uh, right. so coming in here we have a pocket door it doesn't go all the way to the floor so sound no. will probably still come through but yep. that's okay this is a queen 
This is definitely a queen. Yep. And it's a queen and there's no... Yeah, it's a small um, slide. There's no nightstands. No nightstands. There's little you. cabinets under each one and there's USB ports in them. But there's plenty of plenty of room up there to drill a hole for a CPAP hose yes, if you needed to. True. Uh, we didn't even look at this earlier. Well, this Fan is... splitter disable? I'm not sure what that means. No, so this is... I know it's kind of dark. This is just a huge, huge empty space here. Yep. And then there's cabinets and drawers underneath because the uh the bed here is on a slide so when this closes this would slide in under there yep. basically locking you out of here when the slide's in oh. but that's fine because you can get to the half bath right. tv up here it does pop out but it's really hard to pull out so we'll leave yep. that alone a couple more drawers a little this open counter quite a big bathroom back here in the back this is where the full bath is this is where the hookups are for the washer and dryer combo. Again, you have that space up here for Brian to fold the laundry. Yep. Um, really big, deep oh, medicine huge. cabinet. So you can fit towels and stuff up there if you needed. Um, and then your toiletries there. This, um, not as much space down there. No, I gotta say though, well, this is I... Like toilet paper. Oh yeah. That's clever. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe, but if you're sitting there already and you forgot to open it, you gotta kind of like rotate a little bit so you have room to open the door <laughs> but speaking of sitting there that toilet is in 110 percent the perfect location look at yep. all of that leg you could lounge while you're using this toilet i'll sit that on is... this with the with the lid on it okay we have a friend who likes to sit with it open it's a little it's a little weird and this is a used rig so we're definitely leaving it closed oh yeah, yeah. you can look at this. dance here if you want you could do pilates in this bathroom <laughs> it's very big and very with the the skylight over there that's a really big skylight yeah um it's this is light. This door is a little sticky, so I'm going to leave it I, closed. I think this rig has quite a few miles on it because the travel sticker outside has all 49 states that you yeah. can drive to. So yeah. this thing has seen some use. Seen some use for sure. But so It still looks really good. You said the shower door is real sticky? It doesn't it's, open at all? Or? Well, it does. I'll open Ooh. it. Ooh. Okay. When I went to put it. So it has a, a little, not a huge seat, but enough to put your legs up. Um, but plenty big. Yeah, to fit in there. that's a good size. Why don't you hop in there? Let's, I, the scale's kind of weird on the camera here because it's a corner shower. Yeah. Oh, maybe. yeah. Oh, it's, good Lord. It's got a lot of... Yeah, and even though it here. doesn't look like there's a lot of floor space, because of that, yeah. the little seat, your, you know, your arms and stuff, you have plenty of room to move around. Yep. And, wow. well, I mean, I can't, I'm just, I can't even touch the top. Yep. So, that's a good size shower. It's a good size shower. This like is it. a nice bathroom. It is. Man, if this thing, if this thing oh. had a bed over the cab... Oh. This would be a great rig. My gosh. But that, that living room? Yeah. Whew. All right, let's I go look at it. that living room again. Check it out from this angle. All right, yeah. So coming in from the bedroom back here. That is awesome, guys. Like, that's a living room. That's... Uh, love it. I love it. So much couch. There's... Uh, uh, RV I love creators. It. This is I love awesome. It. Yeah, so you'll, you'll notice um, as we're looking at these rigs, we've actually found a floor plan we like. Not at this dealership, so you won't be seeing it anytime soon. But we've found one that the kitchen on this side has a peninsula that comes out. It's one of the Winnebago models. So it's kind of the opposite of this, where you have more kitchen instead of seating. But all of this seating for five people, oh, that it's great. That would be awesome. I mean, and I love, I missed having a couch when we were in the travel trailer. Yeah, you I missed like it so much because I like to lay down. Um, oh, this, yeah, this I wouldn't even think about that. That would be perfect. That would be my recliner. <laughs> yep. You'd be able to lay here. There'd uh -huh. be room for kids to bounce around or be wherever. Yeah. Man. This is... Mm. We got to figure out how to do this in another rig that has all the other things that we like. Yeah. I wonder if we could get these like aftermarket. I'm sure people sell them. I, one of the tricks though is this is a flat. Um, you can only have this pull out if the slide is flush with the floor. Ah. Right, because some of them, you know, there's a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Yep. But we're going to keep this in mind. Yes, we are. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is such a cool thing. What do you guys think? Do you Would you love to have this living room for your RV? I mean, any RV, I would love to have a living room yeah, like and that. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, again, I'm guessing by that travel map outside, the people that own this were full-timers. Yeah. Amazing choice. I'm going to guess it was a retired couple because we're in a class A with no bunks, no extra beds, no nothing. True. So uh, this would be an amazing... All right, let's just get rid of the kids. No! Yeah, no, <laughs> no. Let's, get, let's get rid of the kids no. and we'll just take this. <laughs> this is really cool though. I mean, yeah. this is this is 
has a lot of elements that are perfect and then some that aren't which is which is you know what we're always looking for but we will see you guys in the next video if you like this rig let us know in the comments down below and we will see you next time bye